Hi friends, it's me Swastik and today you'll learn how to control a mouse with Python. So let's begin. If you don't have Python installed, click in the link in the description below or click in the card and you'll be redirected to my video where you'll learn how to download Python for Windows 10. Um, if you have downloaded Python and then you're good to go. This is the link for the official documentation of um, by, by input the this is the module that we'll be using and I'll provide the link in the description below as well um, you have to go here and click copy the clipboard this is pip install py input go into command prompt so this is cmd and or terminal for for Mac and here you'll paste the uh, command this pip install py input I already have it installed if you don't uh, you'll you'll also probably have it installed because I think it comes already installed but if you don't have it it'll automatically download it for you um, so let's start so I'll open up IDLE the Python IDLE and sublime text as well just because I want to write in this let me just delete this old one okay so um, what I'm what I'll do is uh, first we'll import the module. So from pi input dot mouse import button and controller, and then you set mouse to be equal to the controller. So um, let's control this and put it in my, let's control copy it, control C for copying. You put it in your IDLE and um, put mouse equal to controller as well. So now we have many commands that we could use. The first one I'm going to show you is mouse dot position this is going to give you a tuple with uh, the coordinates of your mouse so this should as you can see let me just put the mouse at the top left corner this should give me 0 comma 0 so if I go down it will give me the value increases the y value increases that is this value this will increase when I go down and this x value will increase if I go right it's a it's completely it's not completely like in the coordinate system it's like zero zero is here but zero zero is here in the computer screens so what we could do is we could set the mouse position to be equal to something some tuple that we want to do so actually let me show you this as well that uh, position so if I move this here it will give me a positive x value but that y value will remain zero and if I bring it here I'll get a positive y value so you could set the mouse position to some coordinate that you want to do for example you could set it to let's say um, 789 and 5469 okay um, and there you go it moved my mouse to this position and uh, it took me it can take me to any position as long as it is in my screen so if to check your screen dimensions just do mouse dot position and get it to uh, get it to the bottom right corner and press enter and this is your screen dimensions okay so um next we could uh, use we can click on something so it will be mouse dot click and it is button B capital button dot left this is the button that we want to press so th this would be the left mouse button and the other one would this one would be right mouse button so you could just change right here if you wanted to do and just press one this is the how many times you want to click this so to just show you that to just show that it's working I will open my browser I will open my not so bad text. No Python shell, and um, I will. Let's say let's just click on this and see if it clicks it. Okay. Now I will press enter, and it clicked it. Okay. 
so I am not playing it myself uh, <laughs> just Python is doing it you have to believe me or you can try it out on your own and um, this is great if, if I want to click it two times maybe double clicking you know uh, I could okay whatever so next let me talk about um, we have covered this yeah mouse dot move you can move the mouse to your relative position so maybe and let me just copy this and paste it in my ideal e this would move the mouse like this would this command here is moving mouse moving the mouse five pixels to the right and uh, five pixels up okay so minus five would be reducing y that would be going up so um, as you can see if i keep my mouse here and run that command it will go something like this and this okay so it will take it diagonally like this okay let me just make it a little bigger 15 pixels okay let's see how it will go so let me just open my desktop okay you can see my mouse pointer is right here I'll press this and it took me diagonally if I just I could increase the magnitude of this control C and maybe make it 105 pixels you know so this is a lot it will move me somewhere around there so it moved you know and this is the dot move so let's see the next one this is press and release so you could keep pressing the button this is button dot left and then we need to release as well otherwise our button will get jammed so um let me just put that here so it's just mouse dot press button dot left so i'm going to keep it right here so for a new tab and i'll press enter and it pressed it keep kept on pressing it and you it needed to release it so when i release it um it opens a new tab um so let me just show you that as well so i will run this command again control c uh, go to the new tab and okay i needed to do that so now the button is actually pressed okay so wait it isn't so um whatever we can actually make a function which will click in define your own function you know like clicking okay and you could probably mouse or press and then mouse or release and um, that would do the job for you okay so next there is the double click yeah i showed you that okay let me just sh show you that um if you just change the mouse click here make it two times here you can do it how many how many how many times you want it to do let's say if you want it to be four times you can change this to four and it would click four times and um maybe let's just say um what could you get mm, yeah scroll as well so mouse dot scroll will work like this okay so you take in your zero so i want to scroll down right so this will scroll me down okay this will scroll down two pixels i think is that how it works let me just see yeah as you can see it scrolled actually it scrolled me up let me just try again here because it's a little weird um i don't really use scroll that much but you could use it for your purposes you know 10 pixels I think is enough yeah so it scrolls up and if I put I think if I put minus here it would probably move me so if I put minus let's put in like a big number 50 yeah so you could do something like this define mouse um, define scroll uh, I don't want to keep it the same so I'm just gonna call it scroll with a double with double O and single L and it will just scroll the mouse uh, slowly okay I have not imported time yet which makes it a little tough yes I'll just go here and make a while loop so x equal to 0 while x is uh, while x is less than or equal to 10 
this will be done and uh, X will be added so um, let's call scroll and see how this does so I'll call scroll here as you can see it scrolled a lot if I moved it a more if I moved it to maybe 30 so it would scroll a lot more okay I cannot change it right here I do copy it and do it again so you get the gist of it this is how you can do it how you can control the mouse with Python this is the official link you can see and read on your own there's more stuff here and also keyboard stuff if you want me to make a keyboard tutorial um, just comment below and uh, that will be it so let me actually now since I have this I will show you a final project okay let's make a small project let's make a project that will subscribe us to PewDiePie okay no that will maybe um, what could it do the project could hmm let me think about it we could just automate something with the mouse maybe something that is not that hard I could automate something like um, Hmm, let me think about it. I don't really know. Okay, so I'll make a personalized one. So this will click on YouTube or maybe um, some other site. Okay, it will click on fast.com. So this will check my speed, my internet speed, and tell me my internet speed. Okay, this is a fun project to do. So um, let me just do it then. Okay, so I'll do it in my file here so I have imported mouse so what I'll do first is use I need to use IDLE for this okay so let me just open a new one file new file okay so this actually opened up a script and then from the script I just okay whatever, whatever I'll just do it here so um, I need the position of fast.com on my screen top side screen let me just see the screen at least I can move it to the left and uh, it is right here so this is my screen for the button let me just go here and put it in a variable this will be the location of the fast.com location of fast this is the location okay so what will happen first if okay, we need more some more variables we need to click on fast.com then it automatically does it okay anyways so yeah so we'll just make this work so what I'll do is it will uh, click on it will go to that so it'll set the mouse dot position to be equal to the location of fast that's it and then it'll click it mouse dot click um mouse dot click button dot left button dot left not let left once and um this is done so <laughs> this look at this with this amount of code i could easily you know do this so i'll just, just save that tutorial game dot pi let me save it and run it with command prompt so Python shell I will be in command prompt let me navigate to the desktop and tutorial game.py okay so I'll just minimize this a little bit and let me just go back and find command prompt there you go let me hit enter and we experience some issues oh this just opened this up for some reason let's run it on here and module yeah there you go so it clicked it so quickly that you couldn't even see it <laughs> so uh, you should probably use the the time module well then thanks for watching I'll meet you in the next video um, there's a there'll be a poll right here if you have reached till the end there'll be a poll here which will you know you can answer to know which 
video I should upload next. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Goodbye.